So C++ versus Blueprints. I recently did a project where I implemented GOAP or Goal Oriented Action Planning to make my zombie NPC smarter. You can check out that video next, but I ran into some issues implementing it all in Blueprints. Long story short, GOAP requires a few things that make more sense to do in C++. For example, you need an adjacency matrix or a 2D array. 2D arrays aren't supported in Blueprints, so I had to get creative and find a workaround. You also need a search algorithm to traverse a tree structure. And there's nothing wrong with doing this in Blueprints, but there's already tons of examples on how to implement Dijkstra's algorithm in C++. So for me, it would have just made more sense to use C++. And I'm gonna do a more detailed explanation on my implementation in another video, but I think this example demonstrates something that gets overlooked in the C++ first blueprints conversation. What's good y'all, I go by Shinobi, and I've been learning game development as a hobby for a while now. And this channel is dedicated to discussing what I'm learning, which is great for this video because I know C++ first blueprints is a very passionate subject for a lot of Unreal developers. So go ahead, get your bars off in the comments, Just keep it civil but before we go any further i don't want anyone to leave this video feeling confused if you're new to unreal or to game development in general i think most people would agree the question of blueprints versus c++ is not something to get stuck on it shouldn't be stopping you from making games epic has done an amazing job of making blueprints capable of producing entire games in fact here's a few that were made in blueprints exclusively uh yeah mortal shell future shinobi here i couldn't verify that mortal shell actually made the entire game in blueprints but from all the interviews that i've seen it looks like they certainly used more blueprints than anybody really expected them to so back to it born of bread and even bright memory so just pick one and get started sure you may have to rewrite some things down the line but that's just part of the fun and if you are new to game development Today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University, might be right for you. So I definitely can recall a time when I felt stuck at a job I didn't like. For me, it was my first job out of college and I wasted seven years there, really just making a bunch of excuses to not quit and find work that would be more fulfilling for me. But the beautiful thing about my computer science degree was that it offered a ton of flexibility and gave me the freedom to pursue a new job as well as dive into game development here. And that's what I love about the game development degree program. Today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University, provides. SNHU offers multiple fully accredited degrees in game development, one tailored towards game art, and the other towards game programming. SNHU makes your success their mission, so they offer these courses online with multiple start dates to be as flexible as possible. Since they're online, you can attend class whenever and wherever it's convenient for you. They also offer loads of other resources like academic advisors and career services as you need them. Now, from my personal experience, I know how difficult it can be to find reliable information while learning game development on YouTube, but SNHU hires staff with real-world experience so their specially trained instructors are capable of helping you develop the skills you'll need for success i'm gonna be honest with you here the real reason why i'm rocking with snhu now is because they offer solutions to problems anyone considering higher education is facing now the first of which student loan debt we all know how wild it is especially if you're in my generation but snhu prioritizes affordability for their students by having one of the lowest priced online tuition rates in the nation so you can achieve your dreams at a price you can afford second is the job situation in the gaming industry we've all seen the layoffs that have been happening but gaming degrees that snhu offers will help prepare you because they'll teach you skills that are valuable in multiple industries through their program you can learn to code in c sharp java and c they also offer classes in digital graphic design and 3d art and design so don't be like i was don't spend any more time in a career you hate and start taking steps to get where you want to be by going to snhu.edu slash shinobi for more information or just hit the link in the description all right, let's get back to it. So whenever I dive into these topics, I like to start by getting a pulse on what the community thinks because I'm just a hobbyist and there are plenty of people who know better than me. And there's a lot of discussion about this topic, but I think it boils down to a few talking points. So here's the reasons people give for using blueprints. Speed. If you need to quickly prove out an idea or create a prototype, blueprints aren't bad for that. All the modular pieces of code you'll need to demonstrate an idea are there and easy to work with. Another reason is if you're just getting started and need some simplicity, starting with blueprints is a good way to keep it simple and help you grasp the nuances of game programming. Most software applications essentially just wait for user input and respond to it. I know that's a gross oversimplification, but game programming is different because the world still has to work, whether it's receiving input from the player or not. It's a mindset shift and sometimes using a simpler approach helps get used to that. Another reason is if you're not a programmer and don't want to be a programmer, the blueprint system has been developed enough and offers enough parity that almost anything can be made in it. I know the concept of not wanting to write code can sound strange to some people, but there's a decent amount of people that just don't like C++. If Casey Moratori 
who is probably one of the best software engineers of living today, has a whole list of reasons why he hates C++. And they're valid reasons, like sure, surely anybody can just not like C++. That sums up the reasons to use blueprints. Here's some reasons that people say to use C++. Number one is performance. The general belief is that C++ is more performant than blueprints because blueprints have an additional step of being converted into C++. So there's plenty of debate around this because the gap in performance is so narrow in some places, as little as 12 milliseconds, that most developers probably won't even care. But I also haven't found a great benchmark test to prove this undoubtedly. So this also depends on the programmer. Just using C++ doesn't make your code more efficient by default. You have to actually write performant code. But if you're a developer that keeps that stuff in mind, while programming, then yeah, C++ is probably right for you. There's also a conversation around workflows. Some people just find it easier to have all their code in one place and not spread out between an IDE and Unreal Engine. And I've heard version control works better with C++ than blueprints, but I haven't actually had this experience personally. So if you have, please let us know in the comments. If you need more control of the engine, using C++ allows you to dive into the engine and make changes as you need. I didn't know how common this was, but I saw a video by Dallas Trapu, who was in the industry. And he said, in the industry, it's common practice to take Unreal and strip it down to only the pieces needed for development and then create from there. There's also the question of, do you want to work in the industry? If so, C++ is probably the best thing you can learn uh, if you want to be a programmer in the industry. And then there's people that just don't like blueprints. Some people just don't like the way they look. Uh, some people just think it looks like spaghetti and they don't like the lines going up. So that pretty much sums up the community perspectives that take a hard stance on C++ first blueprints. However, there are some people who stand in the middle and Epic actually did a good write-up highlighting the different use cases for C++ and blueprint. There's a lot of good content in this article. It's listed um, in the description below, but they give a pretty clear explanation of their ideal workflow for C++ and Blueprint, which is that they should be used in tandem. Here's what they say. Blueprint is in its own language distinct from C++. It runs on a virtual machine layer, a separate process that translates Blueprints into C++. This means that Blueprint actors may require extra processing power. So you can see they admit that Blueprints will eventually translate into C++ and that it may result in more processing power being required, but they think the trade-off is worth it for faster iteration because they go on to say, with node-based editing and programming, you can quickly prototype code without needing to open an IDE, enabling you to iterate on ideas faster and then later convert the blueprint into C++ code. But here's what the primary benefit is. When working in conjunction with C++, you can expose custom C++ functions, events, or variables in Blueprint, enabling non-programmers to use C++ utilities. With Blueprints, you can quickly write smaller, more lightweight code that comes and goes in your project without knowing how to program. This is an important part of balancing Blueprints and C++ together. So basically they're saying Blueprints are great for non-programmers because it allows them to contribute in ways they normally need to know C++ to do. It also bridges a gap, allowing for a better workflow process. Programmers can control what non-programmers can have access to. It is effectively a visual way to code C++, making it accessible to developers who may not be familiar with programming. So the purpose of Blueprints is to improve workflows and provide a way for non-programmers to program game functionalities. While they can be used independently to make games, there's a lot to be gained through using them both. My example was a perfect opportunity for that. I should have just written the graph and algorithm in C++ and left the rest in Blueprint. So don't get stuck on this question. Use what you want, but I encourage you to embrace both if you're capable of using both. Real talk, I kept almost calling Blueprints B++ in this video. <laughs>